My name is Greg Robinson. I'm a guide on for crappie on Beaver Lake here in northwest Arkansas. Uh, I use the Bandit 300 series crankbaits for trolling. I usually start this uh, when the water temperature reaches a 75 degrees, which is usually right around the first part of June. I will fish this method all the way through, usually to the end of September. And, uh, and of course, in the beginning of the, of the trolling season, we'll start catching these fish in roughly 12 to 15 foot of water. And as the water approaches the 80s and the 90s, then we move out in and then at that point, when they get about 80, 85 degree water temperature, we start getting a pretty heavy thermal climb. And uh, like right now, the thermal climb is a roughly 22 foot deep. So we like to try to fish about five feet above that thermal climb because there again, crappie doesn't go down. They, they come up on all their baits. And, uh, and depending on how deep the fish are is how we run our rods this particular time of the year. I'm running this rod out at 80 feet of line. The 80 feet of line, or the length of line, determines a lot upon how deep this lure runs. The typical uh, running for this bait is 8 to 12 feet of line if you just, or deep if you just cast it out and reel it in on 8 pound, 10 pound test line. Uh, you can run these baits as deep as 20 foot by letting out 150 to 180 feet of line. So with that being there, the speed and the length of line is the key to getting that bait down to where you want it. I use uh, mainly B&M trolling rod. Uh, I use a 16 footer and then I use a uh, 12 footer I like to keep at least four feet difference between the two rods uh, three rods just for the fact that it uh, keeps enough space between the lures that when you do make a turn uh, it will uh, keep them from meeting together and tangling up and uh, on the uh, on the uh, lines as far as uh, when you do make a turn, I always speed up. I speed up a lot of times as much as two to 2.5 miles an hour. And that when you make that turn, the outside is gonna dig down harder and, and pull a little harder. And your other side is the direction you're turning. They are gonna kind of uh, float up and a lot of times that will trigger, trigger a strike when you do that. Otherwise, on a straightaway, uh, I'll do move a little back bit from side to side, but I also vary the speeds. I run anywhere from 1.2 to 1.8. I hardly ever go over 1.8. Sometimes if we get a heavy wind or something, we do have to run two miles an hour or 2.2 and uh, that uh, just determines a lot of on the bite there. Okay, here's some of the colors that, uh, that we use in the trolling. These are more of the shad colors that I have that I use. Uh, they, uh, on the bright sunny days, clear skies, clear water, I use the shad colors uh, and the chromes work good sometimes. Early morning, as before the day gets real good and bright, I'll go into some of the little bit more colored shad colors and uh, or possibly even a solid white. Um, these, some of these are a glow color and they stand out either way on a bright sunny day or a cloudy day, either one. I use a snap from Thunder Mist and I like these for that gives the bait a little bit more uh, moving other than just a split ring and it also it really is easy to change out baits and colors throughout the day. I have my XI5 motor guide linked into my Lawrence so it's whenever we're trolling I set it on a heading lock and it will go with that distance. It will not turn. I can mow to the back of the boat, net a fish uh, with my Jinko net 
and I can uh, you know help clients or whatever and if I need to get off course a little bit and I need to I just hit the arrow button and it moves it five feet each time I hit it. I've got the double L seat system in the boat. It works out really well. Two people can sit side by side. You can spider rig with them. You can troll with them. You can just fish. Uh, the whole system works really well. It just goes over your pedestal and uh, you get a pedestal without a seat. It also comes with an umbrella holder and uh, they are just a great system. And also on another tip for the crankbaits, uh, in the low light times, I use a variety of different colors of low light and a little bit of stain water and these are the colors that I would use in that situation.